Bernard Tobin here at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show, uh, joined by uh, Rob Syke, who's the CEO, CEO of DOT, the uh, autonomous uh, power platform that we've been talking about on Real Agriculture in Western Canada. Rob, you brought the story east. Very exciting to be at the Canadian Outdoor Farm Show, Woodstock, Ontario, unveiling DOT. Uh, the autonomous robotic platform to the Eastern Canadian marketplace. Uh, been a really, really great day. We just finished our first demo. So yeah, we're great, uh, excited to show this off to the, uh, to the Eastern Canadian row cropping people. In the West, we've seen cedars, sprayers. You brought a row crop, which is really an Eastern Canadian perspective. Talk about how DOT connects to a row crop and uh, we've got some great footage here. Yeah, really great footage. So what uh, the thinking is, DOT, which stands for Dorothy, which is Nobert Bougeot's mother. So Dot is named after his mom. Um, but what Dot uh, is outfitted with is a toolbar. And so we've, we've taken the toolbar and the Dot configuration and we've mounted, in this case for, for prototype, we've mounted six John Deere uh, corn planter cases, six harvest corn planter cases, equipped with uh, precision planting uh, uh, technology inside. So we've got the ability to do precise row crop planting. This configuration, uh, Bernard, is uh, 30 inch on center. Uh, we could go to 15s if we had to. Uh, it does not have the tank on top yet, but there's going to be a charge tank on top, as well as liquid tank configurations, and it's outfitted for that too. What about the capacity and the configurations of those tanks that see? We don't know yet. We're still working that out. DOT has the capacity of carrying around 40,000 pounds, so we think it'll actually be a fairly large uh, capacity. We, on the Seedmaster SR 30-foot Cedar, we're carrying 300 bushels, so that gives you some idea of what we'll be able to do here. Presentation today, I saw less fuel, less labor, less weight, a whole lot of things. Yeah, a whole lot of advantages, you know. Uh, RBC just came out with a major study that basically says that the constraint at farm level uh, to find adequate farm operators is acute and going to get worse. Autonomy is a natural way for us to progress. Uh, DOT allows the farmer to get out of the cab of the tractor and get back in touch with his field or do other things while DOT is uh, seeding or spraying or fertilizing or row crop planting. Yeah. Talk about, I guess, I guess the future down the road here, Rob. You, you, you talked about price, you know, you're looking at around uh, 260 US for the DOT unit, and with that you can then plug into a whole bunch of implements. Think, uh, give, take us a few years down the road for can, uh, farmers in Eastern Canada, what, can, what could their farm look like? Well, I mean, if you were a DOT ready farm, you would have all your fields mapped out, you'd have your boundaries mapped out, you'd have your, uh, your obstacles, you'd have your uh, gullies uh, mapped out, you would know the whole idea of where your fields are at, and then what do you want to do? So we've had guys looking at land rollers for DOT. Uh, we could do uh, hay cutting, potentially hay raking, maybe baling. Uh, you know, your sky's kind of the limit. Uh, uh, what could we do in the livestock sector, manure spreaders? Anything where the work is dull or dangerous or dirty, mm -hmm. that's a place where robots fit. When may we see uh, this this planner move from a prototype into the field here in eastern Canada and obviously the, uh, the eastern you U.S. You won't see it this spring, but you'll see a prototype working, like I said, in southwestern corner of Manitoba this year. So Frank and his team will be uh, seeding their corn with DOT this spring. We're hopeful for that to be happening. Uh, we're hopefully going to be showcasing DOT into the U.S. marketplace next summer. And then that means the winter of 2021 will be taking orders for row crop planter deliveries for the spring of 2021. Uh, and who knows, maybe after this show, we'll get some guys serious enough to give us a $10,000 deposit and we'll ship some units into Ontario this spring. We don't know yet. We'll see how it goes, Rob. Hey, thanks for taking the time uh, and a uh, great story. Hey, always great to be on Real Agriculture.